Life really couldn't be better for Barnett, top of the conference with the best points tally in the country. One of the reasons, Chelsea and Arsenal may have the flair, but Barnett have the hair. I just said it, I said, you know, I'll cut it when we, when we come off top and of course we've stayed up there. You get superstitious, I can't cut my hair now, so if I end up with a ponytail at the end of the season, hey, I'm going to be one happy chairman. Footballers are a superstitious bunch, from being last out the changing room and putting kit on outside to lacing up their boots backwards and all sorts of lucky charms. Even England internationals do it. One famous captain apparently won't go near a ball until he's had the same chicken and chips dinner. For Tony, it's about quality, not just the hair. A lot of the players who've gone through academies in the Premiership and in the Football League and who are not quite making the grade, and they're Generally, we're getting a lot of those players in conference football, and I think the standards improved incredibly over the years. And yeah, I mean, we've got some young and exuberant players. Relaxing with a 13 point lead at the top and a staggering 52 points from just half a season, it's been a turnaround. Everyone's keen to be back in League Two, where they feel they belong. It's the lifeblood, you know, that helps them survive, helps them continue. Uh, Barnett have had, a, had their tragedy, they suffered, they got relegated a few years back, and the pain. It's still around the club and it would be a marvellous uh, marvellous thing for the chairman in particular, Tony Cleanthus, and in fact the fans if they could get back in. Then attentions could turn to home, run down and in need of development. Wrangles over Barnett's Underhill Stadium and future plans have been going on since, well, since Tony had short hair. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, we, if we manage to get there that we'll be able to, to come to a solution that will work for everybody. Promotion, fingers crossed, would also let Tony find himself a barber's. Mark Ashdown, BBC London News, Barnet.